Well, folks from across the world hop on flights every summer to visit Yellowstone National Park. And if they visited in 2019, they saw a record-breaking year for Steamboat Geyser, erupting for the 48th time this year on the 26th of December. If the current pattern of eruptions every eight or nine days holds, it's like not likely to erupt again this year. But uh, MTN's John, uh, excuse me, John Shear reports those 48 eruptions set a huge new record. Last year, Steamboat notched 32 major eruptions, eclipsing the previous high of 29 set back in 1964. This year's 48 majors dwarfs all of that. Sort of classic behavior for a geyser. Poland isn't talking about breaking records. He says the big lesson is that geysers are completely unpredictable. Most geysers don't behave like, like Old Faithful. That's because in spite of years of research, there's so much scientists just don't understand yet. It gets really chaotic when you get close to the surface. A maze of channels, cracks, and ever-changing water flows is just too complex to detect with current equipment. But Poland says there might be one correlation to consider. There's been three really incredible heavy snow and rain years. That could mean there's just more water to prime the steamboat geyser. There's nothing definitive that we can tie to it. We have some ideas, but it's very difficult to test them just because we don't have the data that we need and especially going back in time, lots and lots of data, to be able to really nail down what we think might be happening. That quest for more knowledge, for a better understanding of the world's greatest concentration of geysers, is what keeps pulling Poland back to Yellowstone. Uh, you never know what you're gonna to learn here because it's so wide open. Even though we've been studying it for 150 years, there's still a tremendous amount to learn here. In Bozeman, I'm John Shearer for MTN News. And Steamboat is the tallest active geyser in the world. Poland says it generates so much water when it erupts that it floods nearby Tantalus Creek. A water flow monitor in the creek is one of the ways scientists know a steamboat eruption is a major blast or a minor outburst. But